This is some useful software that I bet you didn't know about. Software engineers are known to be very particular about what software that they use to write their code and go about their day-to-day -day workflow. Now look, I don't want to interrupt your workflow. I respect it. You do you, I do me. But here are a few pieces of software applications that I have learned about and started to use in my day-to-day -day workflow that I find to be pretty useful. And I don't want to impose my preferences or my workflow on anybody, but here are a few software apps that I have used over the past couple of years that I found really useful that maybe you will too. Some of them are very directly software engineer related while others are more like software engineer tech adjacent. You'll see what I mean in the video. So first of all, let's start off with one of my favorite apps that I've used in recent memory, Proxyman. Proxyman is a Mac only application. Sorry, Windows users, sorry, Linux users, but Proxyman is an application that basically intercepts all requests that are coming in on your computer and going out on your computer and digitally visualizes it all in one really beautiful, really simple application. I find this particularly useful when I'm doing both web and mobile development, but for two separate reasons. Now for web development, you might be like, why do you need this? You have the Chrome dev tools, you have the network tab, you can get everything there. And that's true. But the one thing that really drives me crazy about the network tab in the Chrome developer tools is the fact that unless you have the dev tools open and focused in on the network tab, you are not going to be able to see all of the network requests that are going on right there. So oftentimes it's like I have my dev tools open, but it's opened in like the element tab or the console tab. So then I go over to the network tab and nothing's there and I have to redo the whole testing process to get that network request again. I find that really annoying. Proxyman solves that problem for me because I always just have it running in the background and then I'm always able to see every single network request that goes in and out of my web browser. Proxyman has ways to filter out what type of requests that you see as well from like application or domain name. You can also search and filter. It's a really beautifully crafted app. Highly recommend you check it out. The fact that with mobile development, there's no easy way to see every single network request. There's no like Chrome dev tool equivalent in the mobile app development realm. So Proxyman is the easiest way for me when I'm doing mobile app development or testing mobile applications to see what type of API requests are actually being made every single time. I'm pretty sure there's a free tier, at least I don't remember paying for it, but I think that there's also a premium tier. I don't really remember what exactly that entails, but it's an app that I've been using probably for the past two years and it's great. Highly recommend you check it out. Secondly is an app called the Dev Toolbox. So as a software engineer, oftentimes there are some annoying tasks that we often have to do, like checking the diff between two text blocks, parsing a JSON object and validating it, filtering out the results, parsing the params of a URL search query, converting some Unix time over to normal date time strings and all of that hashing, you name it. And the way that we often do these types of tasks is like just Googling text diff checker or Unix time converter and just going to these random websites, getting flooded with ads and pop-ups and it's just so annoying. And what Dev Toolbox is, is a one-stop shop for all of these tiny micro tools to handle all of these annoying workflows for you. And fun fact, I actually created Dev Toolbox. It's an app that I developed myself. You can check it out in the link below in the description or right here in this little shopping tab if it's there. All right, the third application that I've been using in my workflow that I've really enjoyed is an app called Aldente. Aldente is an application to manage your battery life and performance on your MacBook. Once again, sorry, I believe it's a Mac only app. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Mac only. But basically what Aldente does is it lets you artificially cap your laptop's battery percentage to like 80% or 60%. Now, why would you do this? Well, it's because batteries don't like being at 90%, 100% all the time. You see Apple doing this with their optimized charging feature, which caps the charging level to 80% until it predicts that you're going to need 100% by using machine learning. And Tesla cars also recommend that you only charge your car to 80% and only to 100% when you absolutely need to for a long road trip. Capping your battery life to 80% is super useful because it helps preserve the battery life of your machine. And as a software engineer, I love using my laptop for as long as possible. They're expensive machines. They're like two, $3,000. I don't want to have to buy a new one all the time. And I realized even though I use a MacBook Pro, most of the time it's plugged in at home. So I have no need to ever get to 100%. So I use this app called Aldente to restrict the charging to 80% only. It's a really great app that might have a free tier. I'm not 100% sure, but it's also not that expensive, but it's also pretty affordable. And I think it does a great job of extending the life of your laptop for much, much longer. So highly recommend you check it out. The fourth app that I want to recommend here is a good text editor. Now I know most of you are going to be out there using Visual Studio Code. You love Visual Studio Code, but I made a video on this before, but I switched over to WebStorm and I'm telling you it is a JetBrains IDE. Yes, you pay for it. No, it is not free, but it works so 
perfectly. I know, I know people are gonna be like, he's a shill, he's sponsored. Dude, this is not sponsored by JetBrains. I don't get any type of commission, no affiliate code either. I just genuinely love using JetBrains products because life is too short to use a bad IDE. The reason why I love WebStorm so much is the fact that it works completely out of the box, no setup required, and it has a bunch of nifty little features. For example, it gives you this one option to refactor code throughout an entire code base. Phenomenal. It is the best way to refactor something within JetBrains. And it's just so smart. It's like, yes, technically, could you do everything that JetBrains does for free on VS Code? Yeah, but at the same time, I don't want to have to go through like multiple hours of downloading tons of different extensions and setting it all up. I don't want to think about my setup and JetBrains. The beauty of JetBrains is the fact that it just works out of the box and I don't have to think. Highly, highly recommend. If you can't afford it, you should check it out. And it's also free for students as well, I believe. So really check it out. JetBrains, WebStorm, the whole JetBrains IDE product suite. Highly recommend you check it out. All right, so those are a few useful pieces of software that I have been using in my day-to-day -day workflow as a software engineer that I really wanna recommend you check out if you can. Hopefully they make you more productive. Hopefully they make your laptop last for longer so you don't have to drop another $3,000 on a new laptop. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of those applications and leave some comments down below of some of your favorite apps that you have on your computer that I should check out as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.